Good day to everyone. Welcome back to my video presentation. This time I'm uh, going to uh, show you or share to you uh, how many receptacles or the CUs are there in a 20 amp 2 wire bronze uh, circuit. Uh, this is based on the PC 2017. Ang tanong po na ito ay actually the truth and fact about this question is that there is none in the PC 2017 article that will require how many receptacles for a 20 amp 2 wire bronze circuit. Actually this is a design engineer can uh, stretch the number of duplex receptacles in a 20 amp 2 wire bronze circuit as long as he wishes provided it does not exceed the maximum capacity of a 20 amp circuit breaker where the overloading takes place if we are going to take a look uh, at the okay let us take a look at this uh, typical load schedule of a design here as you can see we can have a three maximum of 25 sets for our, uh, a 20 amp circuit breakers which is allowed because we can only have a 19.5 amps maximum which is not yet uh, exceeding the 20 amps of the 20 amp uh, uh, circuit breakers you see equals to 125 sets times 180 divided by 230 volts is equals to 19.5 this is also typical here what we have here in the uh, low schedule design this one because uh, we have duplex receptacle so we times this 14 times 180 and we shall get this 180 I mean 10.95 uh, by virtue of the current is equals to 14 times the 180 VA divide by 230 the only problem here, the disadvantage of, uh, yeah, okay, if we are going to use this in our design of 25 sets, what's going to happen here is that uh, if you have too many, too many uh, duplex, we have the, this, uh, what you call the voltage stop problem, these too many uh, sets of uh, uh, duplex in a, in a circuit branch. We have the voltage stop, we have the a views of utilization of each of the recept dual duplex receptacle what does that mean lagi na lang lahat na yata ilalagay na diyan hindi na nila na, na lalaman kung nag uh, ano na sila nag over na sila sa maximum na 20 amps to have an overloading at uh, the same time kung sa labas itong circuit breaker at si Ang tatay nyo ay uh, nag-welding, ang gusto mag-welding, uh, you would choose to isaksak ito sa isang linya ng 25 uh, sets. And that is what you call the ignorance of an end user about the load ampere. Once na may saksak na yan, ay sabog. Ang uh, mag-overload yan, ang uh, mag-trip, ang uh, breaker. What happens when... Uh, when an overload uh, occurs, uh, actually what happens is uh, the dielectric or the insulation of the wire becomes deteriorated and damaged and will eventually fail in the IR test result. So, kailangan mo nang palitan yan. Dahil pwede mag-increase ang billing mo dyan dahil meron ka nang failed in the in the insulation sa mga dielectric ng iyong uh, wire so this will uh, uh, the rule of thumbs comes in we reduce the design number of uh, duplex receptacle in a brand circuit that will still be a PC compliant actually the rule of thumb application is not intended for a strict compliance for every situation by a design engineer it is just a recommended a proposal sa para sa healthy design ng atin electrical plan okay let me go over to the next one 
uh, the applications of the 180 VA base of SPC 2.20.2.15 Okay, if you how can read this one? Actually, uh, if you read this one, then uh, we can uh, apply this in the layout of this particular layout here. If we have a 180 receptacle, one uh, receptacle here, this is a two receptacles in uh, a strap or a yoke. This is a three receptacles. Uh, uh, both uh, uh, do these three or in our design I will uh, have a 180 value VA value tulad nung nakita natin dito sa inapply natin dito yan you multiply this 14 by 180 and you get 2520 that is what uh, does it mean kung yan ay isang receptacle lang ganun pa rin 180 pa rin ang kaya naman no? kung ito ay 3 receptacle in a yoke is still 180 but if you have four or more in a yoke or a strap this uh, design will uh, be a 90 VA ang i-apply nyo ron hindi na 180 itong 360 na to ay dimitiply sa para makuha nyo ang maximum power for load kaya nyo ay nani yan uh, atin na yun sa 360 Okay, now let's go to the next one. It's a rule of thumb number two. The 80% versus the 100% OCP, the design rating application. Marami siguro sa atin na hindi pa nakakalam na meron 100% uh, OCP, the design rating. Hindi lang 80% na base sa PEC or sa NEC. Actually, this uh, na hindi na highlight uh, na na talo dito may na magnify ka ano don sa PEC, but we have this 100% OCPD rated design in the market now, and this is marked with uh, the UL standard 489. Actually, this design. It is designed and evaluated to carry 100% of its rated uh, current for an indefinite period of time under the standard test conditions for UL489. Meron na po tayo niyan sa market. Marami na nakuflow niyan sa market. Hindi nga lang ito na-recognize ng NEC or PEC code natin. That is the reason why. So if you have an 80% uh, an OCP design rating for 100 continuous load or come on, let's define this here. Anything that involves well, a continuous load, whether it's combined continuous load or non-continuous load, you have to use this 80% rule, the OCPD design. Okay? This is uh, what happens. The OCPD is actually, the 80% OCPD is actually the inverse of uh, 1 over 1.25 equals to 0 0.8 times 100 yan, ay 80% yan, which is uh, also the same. Uh, but uh, if you do the 1 over 0.8, that is 125. So the 80% is actually the inverse or the equal rating of 125% of the OCPD size and the wire size is also 125% additional and for this 100% uh, OC, OCPD design for it is designed for a non-continuous load nothing else so when uh, the OCPD is rated at 100% the calculated non-continuous load is multiplied by 100% or 1 while the conductor sizing is also at 100% and not 125% we have some example here of uh, the application of this AT and 100% uh, OCPD ratings okay uh, question number one if the load of this uh, is 300 amp load what is the amps and the corresponding okay you can have it there and I need to just uh, watch 
Okay, the calculation procedures and recommendations here is the power load on, on this particular layout, the typical layout of a brand circuit here. Okay, we have a typical layout here. This is a 20 amp 2 wire brand circuit in a duplex receptacle circuit parallel uh, connections. You have line to line 120, 120 volts, and it will go to a 20 amp circuit breaker and you have the single receptacles here on this uh, particular side which is uh, which has a 180 V application so that's what we have discussed about uh, so whatever okay let's let's take a look at this the parallel in line one a 20 amp circuit breaker is uh, line one here is uh, 120 times 20 amps 80 percent equals to 12 and 9 and 1920 at maximum load allowed. That's um, ang ating uh, receptacles sa, sa line 1 total of receptacles that uh, uh, we can provide is 1920 divided by 180. We have an 11 single receptacles in a 20 amp one wire brand circuit. Note that the power load in L1 is the same as in the power load at L2 kasi nga sila ay kakambal so we also have uh, another method of uh, calculating this uh, number of receptacles the other method is to use of the Ohm's law I over PB for line 1 2 ok let's do about this for 20 wire also with the maximum current allowed at 80% is 16 amperes ok the rule of thumb here is the assigned current zone per receptacle is 180 VA divided by 1 at 20 is this equivalent to 1.5 so the 16 amp maximum rating over the 1.5 amps per receptacle is uh, equal to 11 receptacles in a 20 amp one wire brunt circuit okay so you can see this you now have on line one you now have uh, 11 recept 11 receptacles here single receptacles and in line two you also have a 11 receptacles uh, so what uh, this is for uh, each uh, for 200 amps one wire runs a circuit so if we do it in a duplex receptacle the duplex receptacle uh, our 20 amp two wire runs a circuit will have an 11 maximum of 11 duplex receptacles in a parallel parallel uh, connections you can see this one all right so the size of the wire of the 20 amp cb is 3.5 m squared the thsn based on the pc 3.2 3.10 point 2.6 b 16 over 60 degrees because the two i'm below 100 ohms so we use the, uh, the 60 degree column and the article 2.41.4 just uh, take a look at this for the small conductors so the recommendation uh, number of uh, duplex receptacles in a 22 wire branch circuit with a combined load of 125 percent continuous and non-continuous is at the maximum of 11 sets of duplex receptacles in a parallel connection so that's it for that's uh, uh i hope you have uh, learned a lot again and uh, you have enjoyed watching my video so uh, my next uh, video presentation will be about the short circuit calculation uh, using the point-to-point -point method in a low voltage residential single phase residential load so uh, keep on uh, watching in my next video and uh, Keep on uh, sharing and liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you once again, Fox. Goodbye. Good day.